Back in 2005, Brookline native Theo Epstein and his twin brother Paul formed the foundation to be named later as a way to give back to their local community. Their first fundraiser created a summer version of the annual Winter Hot Stove Cool Music Concert, and they've kept it going every year. It's great that it's become a staple because um, a lot of people who love music and, and who love baseball all look forward to it um, a couple times a year. And I think it's something that people would do um, just to get together and have a good time. But what, what is the real foundation of it is the fundraising. And we've raised over a million dollars for um, really deserving nonprofits in and around the Boston area over the years. And that's, that's the, uh, the core of the whole thing. And these people are here to support that and have a good time to boot. This winter will be our 10th year of doing Hot Stove Cold Music and it's evolved into doing the summer show. And, but the most important thing is just raising the money for the inner city uh, programs because, I mean, look, you know, we realize in this economy and this political climate that it's really hard to, to find money for people who really need it. And what Paul and Theo have done with their foundation to be named later is it's, it's tremendous. Theo and his family are pretty active. Uh, in charitable uh, causes. Theo and his brother, uh, when he first came on as GM, decided to kind of take this event and turn it into something where they could really help raise money for mostly children's charities, um, and the list grows every year. We've been so thrilled to jump on board and we've had a number of successful shows now. The key, of course, is raising money for the charities that we support, and then now it's grown from uh, eight to about a dozen charities, all Boston-based nonprofits that work with kids, and uh, this event is a key way that our foundation raises money to distribute to those organizations. You know, when I was coming up in baseball and Paul was just starting out in social work, we always used to kind of compare stories and no matter how much uh, the team I was working for was losing, Paul's stories were always way more trying and way more difficult, but also his work is way more rewarding. So it's nice to be able to partner with him in a way that um, supports him and benefits the, the kids that he helps. So he's definitely, definitely the all-star of the event and of the family. Some of the, the kids that I was working with when Theo just came, started out in baseball and coming to Boston as assistant GM uh, are now in college probably. He started out as you know teenagers and are now in college and on to successful careers and even starting families of their own, which of course makes us feel old, but also makes us feel thrilled that we've maybe played a tiny part in their development as a young person. This summer's event brought people together for a party at the Bank of America Pavilion Monday night. It's the first time that we've ever done this kind of event for our Hot Stove Cool Music. Um, normally it's the, you know, the big concert with all the acts. Uh, tonight it's just Peter Gammons and his band. With a, you know, we um, trying to make sure we do simple songs and my, my goal is always to have people who play really well and really loud behind me so that they don't have to hear my voice too much. <laughs> He always carries the show, uh, regardless of who's playing. They seem to know Peter and invite him on stage with them, so it should be a really good time. He's had time to practice and uh, he's ready to go. To find out more about Theo and Paul's non-baseball endeavors, visit foundation to be named later.org.